welcome to the video. So today I'm going to be going through 10 of my favorite networking tools that whenever I install a new operating system as a virtual machine, I always ensure that these 10 tools are installed and then I can go about and do all the cybersecurity type of things that I enjoy doing. So without further ado, let's jump right into our list. So some of you might be thinking, hey, just use Kali Linux or Parrot or whatever other security-based operating system there is already available out there. That is a great option. But I think there is also value in having a fresh install of an operating system that is not necessarily dedicated to cybersecurity because then you have the ability to customize it however you want and you know exactly the tools that are on that operating system. Um, what I've got here is the Zubuntu OS and it's, it's very fast, it's versatile, and we can actually use the apt to download, I think, almost all of the tools into this operating system. The first tool that we're gonna be using here is my favorite networking tool by far. It's Wireshark. It's a GUI interface that shows us all of the stuff that's happening on a network. We can observe things passively and do, do critical security analysis of our network. It's really easy to install it. We just go apt get install Wireshark. Let us do its thing. Yes. I think Wireshark actually might be the, the one of the first tools that I put onto a, a new Linux machine. I love it. I've got a ton of videos on my channel based around Wireshark. Go ahead and give those a look. Boom, we've got Wireshark. Let's go ahead and open up Wireshark. So it's just the default Wireshark here, but we can capture traffic on on this network that are happening. So let's do that. And let's send some traffic ping. And we can see right away that we're capturing traffic. Now a ping is very basic. However, there are so many things that we can do with Wireshark to show that it's a very powerful tool. Definitely a valuable asset in any cybersecurity professional's toolkit. My next tool is my, my favorite tool next to Wireshark and it's Nmap. And that's also really easy to install. You just go apt get install Nmap. We got all that good stuff. Yes. Now, if you're looking for a good book to read about Nmap and, and sort of study up on it, I really recommend using this book. Oh, where are you? Oh, okay. There you go. I love this book. So, so good. I've read this thing front to back numerous times. And because of that, it's, it's, I would say my knowledge on Nmap is pretty, pretty decent. Um, highly recommend that book. Check if Nmap's in there. Nmap port scanner. There's other tools that we can use for port scanner and like I'm gonna in bit here gonna do scapey and you can do some port scanning with Netcat. But I mean, if you're gonna really go with the best tool, my recommendation is Nmap. I also have a bunch of videos on Nmap and we also can do something called Zenmap, which is just sort of a GUI based off of Nmap and doing port scanning. It's quite nice. I've got another video here that demonstrates how to install, set up, and all the different features inside of Zenmap. Too much to go through in this video, but if you're curious about Zenmap, go ahead and give that video a check. My next tool is a command line tool, and it is TCP dump. Man, TCP dump. Now, in this distribution of this operating system, it's already in there. And so as a network analyst, a cybersecurity professional, we are monitoring networks all the time. We can do some very powerful uh, dumps of traffic using TCP dump. It's, it's a critical tool for any cyber professional to absorb and sort of get comfortable, comfortable using. I always make sure that this tool is on my operating system. It usually already is. But even, even TCP dump is useful for things like 
looking at all of the interfaces that are available on this particular operating system. I mean, there's just so much you can do with TCP dump. And because it's the command line, you can really fire through things really fast. If you wanted to script it, you, you could. A tool that you're going to need to download yourself here is NetDiscover. This one is super popular and its, it's simplicity makes it a powerful tool. So let's go ahead and install that. apt get install NetDiscover. You'll see this tool being used quite a bit on sort of capture the flag machines. They'll run NetDiscover first, and that's because they're running their their CTF machine potentially in a local network, and they don't know what the IP address is of that machine. And so doing NetDiscover allows the, the user who's on this, their operating system to analyze the ARP traffic, sending stuff out, and then seeing what is returned back in that particular particular network, okay? And for like a CTF machine, you're gonna have that virtual machine set up with DHCP, which means it's gonna be asking the DHCP server for an IP address, but because you can't log into that machine <laughs> when you turn it on, you, you don't know what the IP address is. So NetDiscover is, is just a really handy tool. Uh, to use. Let's let's run it over here. Net discover. Net discover. And it's just gonna run a pretty pretty general one. There's a lot of things you can do with it. So it's running right now it's checking out networks 192.168.15.0. But I'm actually operating in NAT so it's actually not gonna find anything right now. Uh, and that's fine. We can be a little bit more specific if we want, but net discover I always make sure that's on every uh, Linux distro that I have. Let's go to our next tool here. That next tool being HPing3. I really like HPing3 because it's it's a tool used for packet generation. I just think it's really cool that I can make any packet I want and fire it off to a firewall. I could send out um, 100,000 random packets to any machine on the planet. And I've actually used this tool a ton, especially for firewall testing. Uh, you can use it for denial of service. Uh, stress testing is really powerful with this, this asset. Basically, Anything you could dream up of inside of a packet, you can make that with HPing3. And its interface on the command line is so easy that it just sort of becomes like second nature. Highly recommend this tool. Okay. Our next tool that I always make sure is on my operating system is a firewall. Now I'm quite particular to a, diff a particular brand of firewall. And uh, there's all kinds of opinions on this, but I really, really like Firewall D. I've got a bunch of videos on my channel about Firewall D uh, for its for its user interface. I find it's very straightforward, easy to understand, easy to set up. <laughs> all right, it's a bit of a preference thing. And some people can do just fine using UFW for the whole life. Whatever. Our next tool is gonna be capitalizing on Python. Python is a crazy powerful scripting engine that we can use for all kinds of tasks. Um, Scapy. This is a tool that can be used for packet generation, just like HPing3, but even more, because now with Scapy, we can custom craft packets, send them out, and then wait for responses. Basically, any kind of interaction that you want with a network can be easily done with Scapy. Scapy is really easy to install. Let's go ahead and do it. apt get install Scapy. This next one is on my operating system already, but it's, man, how about, man, Netcat. Beautiful. <laughs> uh, Netcat super powerful. 
you see it all the time. It's it's a very very powerful tool for uh, we can do port scanning, I believe. We can do opening up ports. We can have uh, shells opened up on other machines. And if you're spending any amount of time in cybersecurity, you you'll need to get familiar with the Netcat tool. I love it. Amazing. The next tool I'd like to show you is that I'm sort of thinking of a scenario where you've got your virtual machine, it's set to bridged, and you are in a client environment, and you are tasked with observing traffic that's passively happening on that network. What are we going to use? We're going to use some kind of intrusion detection system. Now, in this case, you're I have two different options. There's other ones for sure, but I'm going to go with two. You can install Snort which is very popular, it's a bit older, but it's got some history behind it, and it's relatively easy to pick up. Uh, Suricata would be the other option. It's more powerful, has better options, honestly, um, and it can be run just from the, the command line as well. I'm not going to go through a tutorial on Suricata because there's actually a lot that we can do there, but it is also easy to install. apt get install Suricata. And ugh, this, this, some kind of intrusion detection should be a, in your toolkit as a cybersecurity professional. Beauty. It's pretty fast. Like all of these, all of these have been either already on my operating system or I'm installing them fresh. And I think my timer is at like I'm at 20 minutes, and that's that's including pauses and whatnot. Um, but that's pretty good. Now, our final tool to wrap up this list is T-Shark. Just like Wireshark, T-Shark can monitor and observe traffic. The difference is T-Shark is a command line based tool, whereas Wireshark is a GUI. I do, I do enjoy the visual side of Wireshark. I like seeing all the colors flying down my screen. But there's a place for T-Shark. And that place is efficiency and for scripting, okay? We can build out scripts that will use T-Shark for network analysis, right? It's right in, the, right in the name there. Here we go. Those are the 10 tools that I always install or make sure that they're already on my system whenever I get a fresh install of a Linux operating system. Those tools are Wireshark, T-Shark, Nmap, TCP dump, net discover, hping3, firewall d, that's my preference, scapy, netcat, and some kind of intrusion detection system. Circuit is pretty good. Um, if there's some other items on that you always have on your operating system, you're like, I gotta have that one, please put in the comments. Like, what kind of tools do you like to have installed on your security VM? Benefit of doing it in this way and not just using Kali is that now I know 10 intentional tools that I've built into my operating system for some kind of security purpose, right? If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a like. I'd appreciate it. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye.